Verify the state of the floor before starting, so as to see the quantity of wax. Also, verify if your floor has any special needs. Verify the humidity level and the temperature of the room. These factors are very important to obtain optimal results. Verify our material list to see if we have everything required to do the work. Delimit the perimeter where we will prepare the floor. If you are working with tiles, look for a joint between two tiles. Here we have a marmoleum floor, so we have a joint to delimit our section. Here it is the one in the door frame. Secure the area we will be working on by installing our signs. Close the section off so we can assure no one will walk on the zone where we will be applying the products and where we will be working. Prepare the floor we will be working on. Start by sweeping the entire surface. It is very important to assure that there is no dust. Prepare the solution for stripping the floor. In this case, we will use an ecological friendly stripper to remove the floor finish in the room. Put the clear water in your bucket. We want to have at least two buckets of water, one for the first rinsing and the other for the second. In a corner, test the stripping solution to see that it does not damage the floor. After a few minutes, verify the reaction of the solution on the floor to see that there is no deterioration of the floor, so we can start stripping. Spread the stripper on the floor. Remove absolutely all the floor finish. Ensure that the sides are well done as well as the corners where dust and wax buildup can occur. Prepare the machinery. Add the scrubbing pad. Now you are ready to strip the floor. Once you are done, make sure to remove all the stripping solution. To rinse it all, put the neutral water on and then suck it all up with a vacuum. Do a final rinse with the clear water to ensure the pH is neutral. After neutralizing, place a fan to help dry the floor completely.